Oh, we got some goody goodies. A couple things I already put on my truck, but I got a, four of these for my uh, tie rod ends, which are so good. They just the boots are rock hard. Hoping those will fit. They're nice and flexible, so they should stretch. But we also, as you can see here, I found some F-150 badges. Oh my God, look at that. I was so happy. I was like, wow, really? But I had to get one from a different truck. One per different truck. Because the way it works is you'll find a really nice one on the passenger side. And then you'll walk over to the driver's side. And there's just completely gone. There's not even a spot for the emblem. Like, seriously, the one I looked at, there was no spot for the emblem. There was no holes. I was pissed. God. So I went to another truck and it just had a just a touch of black paint on it. So I want to get some polish. I know I have some in there somewhere and I'll get a good rag and clean those up really good. And I got this super strength molding tape. That should uh, work pretty good. Um, I forgot to get an X-Acto knife but I think my mom might have something. And we got some new stuff. This is going to come in handy for later. Not that I really need it because I've already taken some stuff apart, but I have it. I need this for my hinges. Um, so there's that. Let me show you the other thing I got. I was only able to get one, but I'm going to get another one here pretty soon for the other side. Oh yeah, that's, that's on there good. Got some of these to make my truck a little more functional. Look at that. that looks great. Adam's old radiator. We found a double capacity one at the at the yard. It was great. Brand new. Brand spanking new. Anyways, let's work on this emblem. Okay, and amongst the new things I got this week, I also ordered Brand new shocks all the way around. We got some uh, up there. Uh, it's uh, going to be an upgrade. I don't need new shocks now for the fact that they still work, but they're too soft. So, like, I get a load in the back and it's just, whoa, just freaking bouncy. Like, like, like it's got blown shocks, but it doesn't. They work. I already tested them. Um, so, I got Skyjacker 7000 series hydro shocks. They're uh, just hydraulic, they're not gas charged or anything. So, um, uh, they work pretty good, so see how they work in my truck. And I also got a one-inch lift front pair of coil springs. So I have new coil springs. I got uh, radius arm bushings, thermoplastic ones. Not energy suspension, but like auto extra or something like that. It was like 17 bucks for a set of two. Or for both both sides. And then I also ordered a, a digital speedometer green one. Uh, and then a GPS sending unit, so we'll have a speedometer and all that good stuff. But for right now, I'm gonna get all this adhesive crap off here, kind of wrap this up with some sandpaper, and and then uh, clean it up. Got my little blade, and then uh, we we'll get some adhesive on there. I'm hoping that stuff works really good. I bought it's it was like ten bucks for the thing, so or not ten bucks. It was like. I don't know, it was a lot of money. So what I'm doing is putting some of this tape on here and I'm just making it so that the excess will come up or out towards the top so we're not cutting inside here and you know making it a pain in the ass. So I'm just gonna put a you know blip here, a blip right along all here, and then a few pieces here and uh and then as I'm putting this stuff on here, I'm just really pressing on it, just getting it right in there. And I did kind of sand this a little bit to rough the surface up, so it should just freaking bite right in there. So yeah, you just press that right on there. And then, yeah, just work that in there. And yeah, I think that'll stick pretty good. It, if you really pull on it, it'll peel it, but not not like anything else I've used. It should I should hold that on there. If if they fall off, you know, then I don't know. 
All right, I was thinking of trimming it while I was on the truck, but it just seems easier. So, yeah, provided you have a sharp blade, just kind of cut some of this material. But this one here has been kind of a bitch. Get off there, damn it! So let's see. Hmm. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna leave that. It's sticking all right. Yeah, I peel it back of foam. It's like ah. So I just make sure I have it on a sharp spot, and I'm also pressing against the very edge of the emblem, so it kind of helps cut it. I'm taking a little bit of it plastic too, on purpose. Didn't look too bad. Then you look in the back, you're like, aha, bitch. This one's kind of tricky because you got a curve, but it's it's not bad. And this one here. And then I'm gonna cut that just like that. I'm leaving a little bit of extra material there. And I'm cutting down like that. And I'm coming back. Yeah, this is working out better than I had hopes. Having you on the fence will barely capture. So I'll get the alignment set. It's got the two alignment pins. And we'll just press it in. See where I tried to trim it on the truck? There's a little scratch there. Just compress the foam a little bit. Oh my god. <laughs> that ain't coming off. I'm going to do it the other one. The other one I have is nicer, so I'm putting that with the where the Cummins badges, so. Yeah, that's nice. The other one there that's got some dirt and paint on it, I'm just going to get some polish and clean them up real good. So I'm going to clean up this other one. I think there was less adhesive on this one. Yeah, this one was a little bit older, I think. I'm going to clean him up pretty good and then sand him down, wipe him down, put some tape on it. Cut it, set it on the fender, and we got our badges back. No more badgeless. It looks like it... It's the more I add stuff to it, the more it just looks like a brand new truck. Like look at look how it shines. Look at that. Look at that shine, man. I buffed out two years ago. It's crazy. Voila. Got our other one. Oh yeah, it's nice and warm right here. So you got some dirt here. Just wipe that off real quick. But then that we're right back in business right there, baby. Back in freaking business. Well, there we go. It's on there. I don't think it's coming off. I can't even No, that ain't coming off. Not for at least ten years. I don't know. I I I just don't see it coming off anytime soon. Nice, I'm happy about that. This is F-150 XL EcoBoost Cummins Turbo Diesel. I may go to the, another Dodge dealer and get another one. Yeah, this one here is kind of crusty looking, but whatever. Nice. Nice. Oh, that's, that's nice looking. Look at that, it's got some stuff on it. It's got that. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like it.